Today is December the 4th of 2015. I wanted to make a video quickly on the situation in Germany with the Arab slash Muslim invasion. And that's what it is. It is a Jesuit uh, run uh, plan, which we're going to be getting into. And uh, it's something that's very, very angering to me, um, very infuriating. Um, my name is Brian Denlinger. I am a German, German descent. Uh, I'm stuck here in America because of the different systems right now in Germany and things. I'm sure I would not be allowed to preach the way I preach in Germany because Germany has been totally controlled by Catholicism now for a long time, which is a great grief to myself. My wife is also of German uh, descent, and uh, we've often dreamt of going to Germany to actually the place where our ancestors would have lived, and maybe there still are some over there. Uh, as far as not ancestors, but, you know, uh, distant relatives. And it's always been kind of a dream of ours, but uh, seeing what the Vatican is doing to Germany is just disgusting. And uh, my first initial reaction to this thing of seeing the Arab invasion, where they're just, they're bringing in just millions of Arabs into Germany, uh, my first reaction was just one of, of violence, just like slaughter these stinking Arabs and Muslims, just, just kill them. You know, and they shouldn't be in the country. But uh, the fact of the matter is, that's not the real solution. You see, if every German rose up and killed all the Arabs, got, said, "Hey, you're you're in our country. You don't belong in our country. You're not here to take our jobs, to mess our women up, and things." If every German rose up and slaughtered every Arab out there, the problem with Germany would still be there. You see, the problem with Germany is the Vatican. Let me show you a little picture here. Uh, see where I have it there. I thought this was pretty good. This uh, Mutter Teresa, Teresia, probably I'm not pronouncing that right, probably. I'm still trying to learn my native tongue, but alias Hells Engela. <laughs> you know, I like that. And it's talking about this, you know, epic old thing there of, of uh, you know, the, the film, the, the immigration film, basically. And... Um, you know, she's saying, come to the children, you know, to all of her children. And uh, actually, pretty accurate. Uh, whoever made that poster is, is pretty close to knowing what's going on. And, you know, again, I'm not trying to treat anybody dumb or anything. I, I think that there's probably some Deutsche Brethren that know very well what's going on. But um, Revelation chapter 17 says here, verse 1, and there came one of the seven angels which had the seven vials and talked with me, saying unto me, Come hither, I will show unto thee the judgment of the great whore that sitteth upon many waters, with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication, and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. She is the mother church. Okay? And again, I saw little uh, Stephen Anderson, Oh, America's Mystery Babylon. America's not Mystery Babylon. It's the Vatican. The disgusting, stinking Vatican. Jump down to verse 5. And upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. That the Vatican, through the Jesuits, controls the kings, the governments. She's a whore for the Vatican. And ironically, it's kind of interesting, my wife actually met her years ago and talked to her in person. More on that later. But uh, this woman is betraying Germany. And I realize, oh, she's a German and everything else, but she's, she's a servant of the Vatican. Again, understand, the Vatican at the highest levels, they have no allegiance to country. They do not believe in God as far as, the, you know, God, the, the Father, Lord, you know, of the God and Father of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm, I'm saying, you know, God who is Jesus Christ. You know what I'm saying. Uh, the God of the Bible. They don't believe in Him. They believe in Lucifer. That's why they hold masses and you know do that whole thing. But the fact of the matter is, and this is why it's so important, the first reaction is one of just anger, looking at German culture being destroyed by literally millions of Arabs, of Muslims coming in and forcing their religion on the German people. It's very, very angering. And you do need to get the, the Arabs out of there. And by the way, if you're an Arab and you say, well, I'm an Arab and I'm saved, I find this offensive that you'd be going after me and my, my race, you know. Uh, you don't belong there. You say, well, can you prove it from Scripture? 
I was hoping you'd ask that. Let me just show you real quickly here. Acts chapter 17, because this is one where the all the little New World Order Vatican goons, they'll all go here and they'll only quote part of the verse. Very interesting. Acts chapter 17 and verse 26, it says, And hath made of one blood all nations of men for to dwell on all the face of the earth. Boom. And they'll stop right there. Anybody that reads this verse and stops halfway in, you know that they're not right with God. There could be saved people that are repeating the lie that they've heard the Jesuits told. I'll grant you that. But when you get somebody who's a, a major teacher and they only quote half the verse, uh-oh, big tip off. Keep reading. And hath determined the times before appointed and the bounds of their habitation. See if it'll focus there. Bounds of their habitation. God set boundaries. And this Satanist right here is tearing them down. It is disgusting. I mean, we've already, here in America, you know, when, it, when the early German settlers came here to America, they set up German settlements. That's why I was raised down near Strasbourg, Pennsylvania, Wummelsdorf. You know, Wummelsdorf, if, if you want to pronounce it correctly. There's a lot of German, Schaeferstown, a lot of German areas where I was raised. Same thing with my wife. A lot of German-speaking people. There's Germans that people could speak Germany, or excuse me, people could speak fluent German that she was raised around. All right? See, there was that boundary there. And our ancestors came here because of, you know, getting away from the Vatican destroyed, you know, how they destroyed Europe, basically, is how the whole thing happened. But through having, being out of bounds in this country, we've forgotten a lot of our customs and our traditions and our, we can't even speak our own language anymore. You know, I speak English. And I, you know, I love the English language, don't get me wrong. I love my King James Bible. Sure, absolutely. But we are trying very hard to relearn our culture and our language. But if you're in Germany, you need to understand this Vatican whore right here, Merkel, she's working with the Jesuits. Now, we looked it up. We can't find that she's Jesuit trained, but she is definitely influenced by the Jesuits. And let me show you a couple of pictures here online. Minimize this thing. Uh, German Chancellor Angela Merkel in 40-minute conversation with Pope Francis. This is uh, February of 2015. So, and it goes down through here. You know, she meet, met with the Pope and everything, and they had a nice conversation, and she gave him a Bach CD and every, all this nice, nice little loving things there. Um, I'll get back to that one in a minute. Uh, Germany's Merkel visits Pope, urges tougher market controls. Down here, I thought this was interesting. Merkel, the daughter of a Lutheran minister. You say, well, then she's not a Catholic. Yes, she is. Lutherans are Catholics. Again, if you're in Germany and you're saying, well, I'm not a Roman Catholic because I'm a Lutheran. The Lutherans have rejoined Roman Catholicism. That's why they put a statue up to Martin Luther there in Rome, not too far from the Vatican. All right? Don't fall for that. Okay? Um, I'm not going to go off on a big thing on Luther here, but the whole point is, you know, I, I thought this picture was very telling. You know, that picture of Merkel there with the Pope. Good old buddies, insiders. What is she? Well, she's a whore working for the mother of harlots. You see, the mother church. And so these Jesuits, here's how they work. Let me explain this. The Jesuits will set up two opposing systems and then offer the solution, the Hegelian dialectic. If you don't know the, you know, it is Georg Hegel, which was a German philosopher. But uh, that's how this thing works. Thesis, antithesis, or antithesis, and then synthesis. They bring the two together. They offer the solution. And you can see this. the Vatican uses this over and over and over again. Um, and I'm not going to go into a whole lot of examples, but you can use your imagination. But see, what they're doing is they're using the Muslims, which they've done ever since they created Islam. Islam is a creation of the Vatican. Again, that's been proven time and time again. They both venerate Mary. Uh, there's a lot of other similarities and things. But 
Islam was created by Catholicism for the express purpose of being used for their crusades. And now the Vatican, with the, through the Jesuit order, and we got a Jesuit Pope, you know, and what their plan is, is to take, first of all, you foment wars, ridiculous nonsense wars in Syria or other places like that, and then you tell those Arabs, leave your boundaries and go to places like Germany. Because, see, the Germans are a major threat. If the Germans can get behind the right movement, they're a major threat. Okay, so let's go in there and let's destroy what the Bible says about boundaries. And let's go in and let's actually, you know, bring the Arabs in, get the German people angry at them. And, and you know, they'll, they'll get there again. If you say, you know, I don't want our culture, I don't want to lose our culture, I don't want them mixing with our kindred, you know, the modern word is race, but kindred is the Bible word, which should be, you should stick by that. If you say that, they'll say, oh, you're a neo-Nazi. Well, you know, I would warn about right-wing Vatican fascism. I would certainly warn about that. But if you're just simply saying, hey, I don't want to mix Germans and Arabs together, you're not a racist. You're a Bible believer. It's what the Bible teaches. The Bible condemns interracial marriage. All right, and I'm going to be doing a study on that. And again, why? Because God's such a hateful guy and he just doesn't want people to love each other. No, because God wants to preserve people's cultures. He wants to preserve diversity. Again, a Jesuitical term, the modern word they'll use, diversity, meaning let's all accept one another's differences so we can all become one and eliminate differences. That's not diversity. Diversity is respecting how God made you. And saying, I am unique from you over there. You stay over there on that side of the fence and I'll stay over here. And you know, there, nobody argues. Nobody comes out and says, it's wrong to produce pure German shepherds or pure Rottweilers or pure Collies or pure whatever. It's wrong to breed horses for racing and breed Clydesdales for work. That's wrong. That's, that's, that's racism. That's bigotry. Nobody says that. But somehow, doing it with animals and other things, segregation is okay there, but it's wrong for people. See, see, see the warped mentality here? So again, if, if you are standing for German nationalism and you're saying, hey, I'm not going to mess around with that culture. And by the way, if you're in Germany, don't give these Arabs jobs. Do whatever you can to say, no, I don't want them in my area. I'm going to protest this thing. Absolutely. But make it about the Jesuit order. Because the Jesuits are the ones that are behind it. Again, let me show you. Show you a little proof here. Jesuit Refugee Service. Right here. And it's talking about this whole thing. We're not going to read the whole article. You can look at it yourself. But it's talking about the whole thing. Let me zip down here a little bit. From Italy to France to Germany. And you know, I, I, I was watching videos online and I'm going, some of these videos are, are very much pro-Germany. And showing the pro-Germany side, other ones are saying, oh, you should take it easy on these dear Muslim people. That's what these guys are doing. Talking, you know, trying to make people feel, oh, we should be, you know, more gentle with the Arabs and, more, and Islam and stuff. Islam is a disease. You know, it's, it's a disgusting disease. It is a satanic religion. Tell them I said so. But the Jesuits are writing articles about this. What are they doing? You got Catholics saying we're pro Germany. You get Catholics saying we are pro Islam. These people, they should be allowed to go in and they should be allowed to come into your country and you should pay for them to be there. You see what they're doing? Thesis. Antithesis. You say, well, what's what's the conclusion of the whole matter? Well, I believe that the Muslims are being used as uh, cannon fodder, if you will. They're being used to foment a uh, very serious division, and when the Antichrist shows up, I think that they're going to be the ones that the Antichrist goes out and slaughters. And they're waiting for the people of Germany are going to fall for the next big, you know, like Hitler, the next big uh, right-wing uh, fascist type of a uh, guy that stands up and, and declares German nationalism, and he's going to be a Catholic, just like Hitler was a Catholic, just like Merkel is a Catholic. And she is. I mean, give me a break. You know, that's what they're setting them up for. So if you're a German, uh, 
please do what you can to fight against this Arab nonsense, this Arab invasion. It's, it's just disgusting. You know, do what you can to, to fight against it. And by the way, you say, well, but I don't think that the Vatican's official position, let me say this too, what about the Vatican's official position on the Muslims? Here we are, November 30th, just a couple days ago, Pope Francis, Christians and Muslims are brothers and sisters, BBC News. Right there, BBC News. You say, well, you know, but that's just our current pope. He's, he's not really representative of, of the teachings of our church. Oh, really? Let me show you here. We have the Catechism of the Catholic Church. This one in particular was actually, the imprimatur was imprimi protest by Ratzinger. The German uh, Pope Benedict, in other words. Let me show you here. Number 841. Let's see if I can get this on camera. The church's relationship with the Muslims. The plan of salvation also includes those who acknowledge the Creator in the first place, amongst whom are. Let's see if I can move this thing correctly. Uh, there. The Muslims. These profess to hold the faith of Abraham, and together with us they adore the one merciful God, mankind's judge, on the last day. Right there. Catholic Catechism calling Muslims saved. The Pope. Christians and Muslims are brothers and sisters. You see? You see? Now, if, if you're a Roman Catholic... Um, and you're saying, you know, I don't, I don't believe in this crazy Bible thumper or whatever else, you know, me. Um, you need to understand that your church teaches in its official doctrine that Muslims are saved. And yet they deny Jesus Christ. How can you be saved and deny the Lord Jesus Christ? You see? You see how the thing is working out? They're bringing in the Arabs to destroy the culture of Germany. And they're going to create these people as the enemy, and they are the enemy. Again, if you're an Arab, get out of Germany. You don't belong in Germany. You have no right to be there. But they're bringing the Arabs in. They're bringing this satanic cult of Islam in. And what they're going to do is they're going to get the angry, the German people angry, and rightfully so. They create the two different systems, you see. And what's the synthesis? How do they bring the thing together? By bringing in the Antichrist when he shows up and they can wipe out the Arabs. The Arabs, again, are just going to be used, like I said, for cannon fodder. They're just going to be literally just destroyed. You know, again, the people, a lot of these people are saying, you know, Islam is the religion of the Antichrist and it's the religion of the New World Order and the Antichrist is going to be a, a Muslim Mahdi or some nonsense. Absolute total nonsense. Islam has never been able to organize themselves in such a fashion that they could rule the whole world. That's nonsense. Okay, and it's it's interesting too that a lot of the uh, moderate Muslims, you know, out there, are actually disassociating themselves with the radical Muslims. So when the Antichrist shows up, you know, who will be a pope, not this pope, Francis, but I think he's going to be a future pope. Um, when he shows up, he's going to go out and he's going to bring war. And he's going to slaughter the Muslims. And again, the Germans are not seeing. Many of these Germans I see that are protesting and things, they're not seeing the real enemy. The real enemy that has plagued Germany for many, many, many centuries. And it is the Vatican. If you are not saved and you live in Germany, get away from the Vatican. Do not go to a church building someplace. They are the creations of the Vatican. You will not find one church building in the entire New Testament. You come to Jesus Christ as, and have a personal relationship with Him. Again, watch our salvation message on that. I'm not going to get into all the scriptures on it. But you can know the Lord personally. And then understand that you are well within your rights as a Bible-believing Christian to say, I am not mixing with the Arabic people. Hey, if you want to get saved there, Arab, go ahead and get saved. But then get back on the, the airplane or on the boat or whatever, however you got here, and go home. 
You go back to your boundary, back to your habitation, excuse me, and don't cross this boundary line again. But you do not allow these people into your homes or into your lives and just say, well, I don't want to be classified as a racist and whatever else. Germany has been, has been under attack from the Vatican and the Jesuits now since World War II. They set up Adolf Hitler. He was a Catholic. Again, you can do the study on that. He's a Catholic. They set the guy up and he even talked about, you know, Hitler talked about uh, much of his um, system was based on the Jesuit order. You know, he had Jesuits all through that thing. And they brought shame to the people of Germany. And now you're ashamed again to dare say, we don't want Arabs in our neighborhood. Don't be ashamed. You stand by the word of God. You get God on your side. Don't think that you can fight this Vatican assault through Merkel on your, with your own strength, with your own power. You can't do it. The German people, I would love to see a serious revival. Now that you can see that the Vatican, it's the Vatican that's betraying you. Merkel is just a tool. She's an agent of the Vatican. You need to, I'd, I'd get rid of that Merkel. Get her out of there. You know, and get in some guy that's going to respect the boundaries that God has created and say, no more, go away. Don't give them free things. Don't come in, into your country. I just, oh, man, it's just so disgusting. So I think that's all I'm going to say about this right now. Um, you know, probably come out with some more stuff in the future, but it, it just, to see it, it just breaks my heart. I just, dreams of going to Germany and things now and thinking about, you know, all the culture, the rich traditions and everything else that, that we just, um, we wish we had here. And to think of it all being destroyed by a bunch of stinking Muslims. And going over there and, they're, and the Muslims are just, you know, supposed to breed like rabbits and, and the Germans are just being whipped into submission. Don't you dare speak against this. Hey, throw caution to the wind. You let, if you're saved, you let God be pr your protector. And you stand against this thing. You stand against this, this disgusting integration of foreign people into your country to destroy your culture. So, that's going to be it. Um... We're praying for you and uh, our brothers and sisters over there in, in Deutschland. Please do not submit yourselves to the Vatican's agenda of infiltrating your country with Arabs.